Hey guys, this is Kamiguno and today I'm doing a review for Ultimate End Issue 1. And before we start talking about Ultimate End, just want to give you guys a couple updates. Of course, I have Kamiguno episode 98, and that's the show where I review all the comics I've read this week in one show. And here are the exclusive comics. We have Planet Hulk Issue 1, which I have an in-depth review on Comic Frontline 4. Daredevil Issue 15.1. Guardians of the Galaxy Issue 27. Convergence The Flash, Issue 2, Uncanny X-Men, Issue 34, Convergence The Adventures of Superman, Issue 2, Convergence Green Lantern Core, Issue 2, which I also have an in-depth review on Comic Frontline 4, and The Little Mermaid, Issue 4. So if you want to go check out all those reviews, go to Comic Uno, Episode 98, which is annotated. Also, guys, be sure to nominate your favorite YouTubers for the Geeky Awards. Learn more about that in the video annotated. But let's talk about Ultimate End, Issue 1. So, Ultimate End, uh... The, the comic we've all been waiting for or dreading. I know I've been dreading it. I don't want to see the Ultimate Universe end. But very cool cover here. And one thing I love about this cover, it kind of is a throwback to the old Ultimate comics. They used to have these banners in the old ones. Uh, you know, now it's obviously full comic like we usually see with Miles. But it's cool throwback seeing this. And of course Bagley's art for here. Seeing all these uh, characters from the universe. Really like the cover. Let's see what's going on with the story. But if you, before I start talking about the story, um, again, Bagley's art works perfectly for the Ultimate Universe. That's what started all with uh, Peter Parker's Spider-Man. So wonderful artwork. Let's see what's going on with the story. So with this issue, we get to see uh, that the Ultimate Universe has clashed with the regular universe, and they're all trying to figure out what the hell happened, who the hell do we blame. Uh, so Peter Parker, he meets up with uh, the Ultimates, the, the young Ultimates, he calls them, but they are just the Ultimates, or the oh, new Ultimates, uh, and he meets up with them, and he's still a little scared of Jessica, because he's like, oh, you're my female clone. That's a bit weird. <laughs> uh, so we get to see a little discussion there. Um, also, the dilemma Peter's having, uh, this universe Peter's having, um, because... Everyone knows his identity in the Ultimate Universe, so it's like, oh, so is everyone going to know it now in the Riley Universe? What do I do here? Because, you know, obviously there's half Ultimate Universe and half the regular Universe on Manhattan right now. Uh, and that's pretty much the whole issue. It's just an argument of what do we do next, and <laughs> they're going to have to team up to defeat the Thors, uh, which is pretty much the police for the God Doom in, in this universe. Um, I thought this was a solid issue. I thought this was set up better than some of the other Secret Wars books I read this week. Uh, it felt like a good solid setup, like I said. Um, there's not too much... Um, oh my god moments or, you know, good, you know, great character moments. But I really like the beginning. I thought it was, uh, especially for Peter. I thought this was a very well done Peter issue, which is great because, again, Ultimate uh, Spider-Man started this all. Uh, it was a very well done Peter issue, of course, with the whole identity thing. I really like that because, yeah, everyone in the Ultimate Universe does know his identity. And then he kind of reveals it to everyone in the room. He said, hold on, wait, if Peter Parker is dead and everyone knew that, it's like, oh, wait, you didn't know I was Peter Parker? Okay, now everyone knows um, I'm Peter Parker in this room. So that was a very Spider-Man thing to do. And it was cool to see him, like, very, be very, and I just dropped the comic, um, be very uncomfortable about... Jessica, and hopefully we get to see more interaction between them. Uh, and then, I would say the, the a little bit of the boring part was when they were discussing, oh, you know, what do we do? Oh no, you know, God Doom. And I'm still not a big fan of this whole God Doom thing, which is obviously the big thing for Secret Wars, so we'll see how we deal with that. Um, it was okay cliffhanger with the Thors, but at the same time, this is ultimate end. This is the end of the ultimate universe, so how long is this going to go for? I want to see a, a more of a memory of the ultimate universe than the regular universe, and it doesn't really concentrate too much on the ultimate universe. I, really, really, we don't even get to see that much of Miles in this issue. Uh, but we'll see. I thought it was a very solid uh, setup so far, and we'll see where it goes. And again, great art artwork by uh, Bagley. So Ultimate End Issue 1 gets four stars from me. I say pick it up. It wasn't that bad of an issue. Um, it was, again, solid setup. So hope you guys enjoyed. This is Comic Uno. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Don't forget to like my Facebook page. Also, in the description below, there's links from my comic book, Like Father, Like Daughter. And don't forget to like the Facebook page of Like Father, Like Daughter. And I'll see you guys later.